Hi, I'm Ben, and I'm the lab coordinator here at Discovery Play Science, and I'm going to tell you how to make a pinhole projector today. If you don't know, on August 21st, there's going to be a total solar eclipse here that crosses the entire United States. In Charlotte, it's going to be about 98% covered. It's pretty good. There's a couple different ways that you can actually view it. You can get yourself some eclipse glasses. Now, there's only a few that are approved. Luckily, here at Discovery Place, we are selling them for only three bucks a piece. Come by one day, get yourself a pair for the whole family. Or, you can make yourself a pinhole projector. Now, these allow light to come in in a small little hole and project on the other side. So, as the moon travels across the face of the eclipse, you will get that image inside the box. Now to make it, you need some very basic things you can get from home. Of course, a box. You can get it in any size. Doesn't matter. But we're going to make one out of a simple little box like this. What I've done on the inside so far is take a white piece of paper. That's where the sun is going to be projected. On the other side, I've started to cut two little holes. One hole is going to be for you to look in. The other hole, we're going to take a little bit of tinfoil, enough to cover up that second hole for us to prick a little bit of space for light to come in, like so. Pretty simple. We're then going to tape this up so no stray sunlight can get into it. And then, with some little point, we're going to prick a little hole. Now, when light comes into here, we can look in and see that light projected to the other side. Simple, easy, and a lot safer than staring at the sun, trust me. So, in Discovery Place, in our thinker space on the third floor, all weekends in August until the eclipse, we have all the materials you need to make these. So come on in on a weekend and make yourself a penhole projector for the eclipse.